All right, here's a progress update on the gasifier. Built and installed legs. It's one and a half by one and a half inch square tube. Uh, stands at six inches off the floor. I got my uh, four inch cleanup installed. I finished uh, welding out the top, the very top plate. Last uh, last video that was just tacked in place. And uh, I've also got my cyclone filter attached. It's a two inch pipe right there and then the lower half I built a little supporting bracket to hold it. And uh, if we take a look down inside the cyclone here you can see where the two inch pipe kind of snakes right into the side of it to get the, the whirling action. And down at the bottom is just a one inch uh, thread alet, NPT, one inch threads, and I'll have some sort of one inch close nipple that'll hang out the bottom, uh, and some sort of little plate with, if I had to guess, like a pickle jar or something like that on the bottom to uh, easily empty out any ash or contaminants that the uh, cyclone filter collects. So uh, I believe the gasifier itself is 100% ready to run. Uh, I've got a little bit of work, of course, on the cyclone filter yet, and uh, I've got to build my sawdust filter and uh, some sort of cooling setup. I really haven't decided 100% on that, but the gasifier should be fully functional now. Um, something else I built over the course of the week here. Uh, this is a little squirrel cage blower that I built. Uh, I had the motor sitting around. It's a 12-volt DC motor. I don't know how well you'll be able to see inside of it. Yeah, not too well. Anyhow, it's just a little squirrel cage. And that's an inch and a quarter pipe coming out of the bottom of it. And uh, this is all hand fabbed here, the, the whole snail drum. and You can see a little bit of orange RTV high temp silicone on there. And it's a 100% sealed unit. I'm not sure if this is going to be big enough. I'll give you a, a comparison of my hand. You know, it's a pretty small guy. It's really not very big at all. Uh, it does move a lot of air, but it doesn't have a lot of suction. Um, so, you know, trial and error. We'll just see if it works, uh, basically. But uh, that's my attempt at building a squirrel cage fan. Uh, in the event this doesn't work, I, ha I do have a backup plan. I noticed uh, quite a few of the boat shops in town have the, the three-inch bilge blowers, which I, from watching other YouTube videos, I know they work. But we'll give that little guy a try and see if it happens doesn't no biggie so there we are there's my my latest update